All right, this is third grade, module six, lesson five. And in this lesson, students are going to be creating their own ruler using intervals of inches, half inches, and quarter inches. And then they're going to be measuring stuff and generating data. Uh, I'm also going to do a little bit of a Dwayne Hobbecker bonus by showing you an, a nice little GeoGebra applet, or GeoGebra? I don't know how do you say it. GeoGebra applet that I created uh, using rulers. So let's get started on this. So first, what I thought I would do is I would kind of walk us through the uh, the concept development because it was a little on the confusing side for me and it took me a little while to um, understand it. So parents and teachers, this is particularly for teachers. This is uh, uh, hopefully my pain of reading through the directions and understanding uh, will pay off because then I can make it easier for you. Basically, what we've got is we've got this uh, paper, lined paper down here, and I've got a strip of paper. Uh, the directions say this should be about six inches long. And the idea is we want to cut this or divide it up into six equal intervals, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, basically what we did is we're going to start down here and label that zero, and then we're going to go count over one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and there's our one, and then one, two, three, four, there's our two, and then one, two, three, four, there's our three, three, right there, there's our two, and there's our one, and then one, two, three, four, there's our four, one, two, three, four, there is our five, and one, two, three, four, there is our six. Okay, so I've, I've ticked off, I've made little tick marks right down here. Uh, every four intervals is equal to one. So it's kind of like a number line. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this strip of paper and I'm going to put this lower corner down here right at zero. And then, best I can, and then I'm going to rotate the upper corner so it goes straight to the six, just about as good as I can make it. So you can see there's our zero and there's our six. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, go up. We're going to follow up. Well, first I'm going to put a little dot at zero right there. And now I'm going to go up and that's going to be where our one is. And then I'm going to go up and that's going to be where our two is. And then I'm going to go up, and that's going to be where 3 is. And then I'm going to go up, whoa, up, and that's where my 4 is, right there. And then 5 is going to go right there, and then finally 6 is going to be right at that tip. Now I'm going to change the uh, directions just a little bit, because... Um, what the directions are saying, and then uh, in the Eureka Math is they say label this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but that's kind of arbitrary. We don't have to. We could, if we wanted to, label this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So there is our inches so far. And now in order to label our half inches, we're going to go down here to our number line and we're going to indicate where the halves are, which is right in between each of our inch markers down below. And then that is going to tell us where we are supposed to go for our ruler. So I'm going to slide straight up and that tells me that's where the half inch goes, the half inch goes, the half inch, the half inch. So I'm just following up the line and that's going to give me my half inches. So we can label each of those as our halves. There's a half, there's a half, there's a half, there is a half, there is a half, and there is a half. And then lastly, we're going to mark the quarters. And then again, so we're going to follow straight up each line, and there is our quarter, 
quarter, quarter, quarter, quarter. And I'm going to just keep going and indicating where our quarters are the best I can. It's kind of hard on the little computer screen here. But there we go. And now I have a ruler that is marked down to the nearest quarter inch. Now if I want to, it might be good, uh, a good idea for me to kind of zoom in a little bit and indicate these a little bit better. So there is our quarter inch, quarter inch, there's our full inch right there, and then there's a quarter, there's a quarter, there's our quarter, and I'm going to just kind of keep going here and indicating our, our quarters, right? So here's our quarters. And now, don't worry if it's not going perfectly along this line. That's all right. That's all right. And then, um, I'm going to keep going, indicating my quarters. All right, so there's my quarters. And really, I ought to do the same thing for my halves. Just kind of indicate a little bit better. Here's my halves. Let's not be too lazy. we got to label the halves as well. Oopsies. Right there. Halves. All right. And then that is our ruler. We now have a working ruler that has been measured to the nearest quarter inch. And you can see it works. I can just measure anything with that ruler. Now, speaking of measuring things with our ruler, so I created this app, applet from GeoGebra, and there's the URL, so you might need to pause the video and go to there. But basically what I've done is I've, we've got this broken ruler because it doesn't start at zero, and that's okay. So we're going to measure the red line by moving using the red dot and the blue line dot to kind of rotate and line up that dot, line up the ruler with the line perfectly parallel, perfectly. And I'm going to try and make it so that it lines up right with a 1, since it doesn't have a 0. And so we know that that part is 1 inch, and this part is 1 inch. So now what is this part right here, this little piece right here? Well, we can see it's two pieces out of 16 in a hole. So that means it's two inches plus, and my lines are no longer kind of lining up, but it's now two inches plus two out of 16 little intervals. Now, another way we could say that is two and one eighth. All right. And, and really, if you wanted to, you can, again, we could kind of zoom in and we can Look at this little piece right here, and we can see that it's two hops right there. One hop, two hops, three hops, four hops, five, six, seven, eight. So if one whole inch is eight hops, and this little red piece right here is one of those hops, so that means it's two and one-eighth inches, all right? So that's another way to think about using a ruler, and parents and teachers consider going to this URL. It's a GeoGebra applet that I created uh, just to play and practice using um, rulers. In fact, you can then click on the little checkbox to see if you got the right measurement. So this stuff, parents and teachers, is pretty straightforward. Um, it's not all that different in Common Core versus the old standard way. We just want students to experience a ruler and really understand what a ruler is and how to use it. So Evelyn marks four-inch paper strip in equal parts label. 
And so we know that that's 0, that's 1, that's 2, that's 3, that's 4. And then their half inches would be labeled as a half, and then here's a half, and then here's a half, and here is a half. Now really, if we wanted to, this we would call it 1 and a half, because it's 1 inch plus a half. Similarly, this right here would be 2 and a half inches and 3 and a half inches. And then it says estimate where the quarters would go. Well, the quarters are going to go halfway between each of those half intervals. We're going to cut each of the half intervals into two parts. And that's where our quarters would go. So if we wanted to, we could say um, uh, one inch down here, right here. One inch is equal to how many quarter inches? Well, here's one inch. And you can see that one inch is equal to one, two, three, four quarter inch intervals. And so the, it's equal to four quarter inches. Down the road, parents and teachers, students are going to be seeing that one inch is equal to four quarters, right? It's starting to look like the fractions that students are going to be learning big time in fourth and fifth grade. This is really cool. This problem is really cool because it really leads into the fraction work that students are going to be doing in fourth and fifth grade. So Travis says his yellow pencil measures five and a half inches. Ralph says that that is the same as 11 half inches. Explain that they are both correct. Well, so five and a half. What does five and a half look like? Well, we're going to start here at zero. And we're going to say, well, that's, I'm just arbitrarily calling that one. So I just randomly decided that length is 1. So now I'm going to copy it. That length is now 2, 3, 4. I've got to extend. There's our 5. And then we're not going to go all the way to 6 because we're going to stop halfway. And there is our 5 and a half. And so... Uh, Ralph says that's the same thing as 11 half inches. Well, how do we know? Well, right here is a half. Here is a half. Here is a half. Oops. There is a half. And there is a half. So how do we know that it's 11 half inches? Well, we start here, and we're going to go hops. One hop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's the same thing as 11 half inches. So 5 and 1 half inches is the same thing as 11 half inches. And that wraps up third grade module 6 lesson 5. We created a ruler. We measured a bunch of stuff in uh, inch, half inch, and quarter inch intervals.